Hi, welcome to the Quick Stew Workshop. My name is Christoph, and in today's video, I'm going to show you two steps forward, one step back with this magnet motor. Um, I had to rethink my whole um, setup here because um, even though I <clears throat> tried to reinforce this this part, this 3D printed part, it, it still had flex in it and it was wobbly. So I decided um, to rather get a piece of flat uh, glass. I've got some four millimeter glass, piece of glass cut um, about half a meter by half a meter. And what I'm trying to do here is to set up everything, make everything that I can play around and move, move it in and out, move it any way I want and basically what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to find the center of the glass and then the sharp point will run on top of the glass so it will be very very little friction and then I'm going to take this piece of wood and make a cross make a, a bar like this with this little um, brass thing and that will hold it at the top so that this thing can spin freely like that and what I also did is I removed the other magnets I'm not gonna put eight magnets at the moment uh, um, if you want to also try something like this, I'm going to make these 3D printed parts available. There's a link in the description that you can find and download the files. If you have a 3D printer, maybe you can also uh, do the same and see if you can get this to work as in the original uh, videos.
just for interest, um, I've played around with this setup and I've moved this around quite a lot, trying to find the sweet spot. And I've replaced a small magnet with a weaker one. And I spent the whole day messing around with this. Um, and I'm starting to feel it shows it shows here and there it shows potential, but I think my magnets are not all exactly the same. It's sort of some of them are a little bit stronger than others. And well as as far as the wheel goes, it's a very, very, very smooth wheel now, very little friction. And it just showed me a point uh, that you can actually, by just removing everything, I'm just going to add some extra magnets here. Um, I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make them uh, to be opposite poles. So if that one repels, I'm putting it. Let's just experiment. Uh, See if there's any difference in it's almost like it's working a little bit better. Now it's interacting with the second magnet. Second magnet is attracting and flipping this over. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this magnet. So that there's no magnet there. Keep this in that position. Almost like it's working better without the mechanism at all. And it will come to a stop. So this is not working. I'm starting to suspect that that first uh, video of this device um, was somehow somehow cheated or something was in that in that machine extra to give it a little bit of a push because without that mechanism it actually works better and it's just a flywheel okay so let's see I've got some strong magnets here. Must be careful with these. Everything that's metal must be far away. So if I, if I just place this in close proximity, I just want to see how this influences the, the wheel. So it's actually
It's interesting. It works. It works better with just a strong magnet close by, and then it stops and goes back. That's the problem with all these magnet motors that you see online. Is they just show you part of how it's running. Now, I know because of the law of physics and thermodynamics and all of that, it is very improbable to find a simple solution to make a magnetic motor. Otherwise, people would have would have already come up with something. So we can experiment and play around with this. And I can turn this. And I can see how people can spend their lives to work because it always looks like it's almost there. It convinces you that it's possible to just, you can just do a tiny little thing. So, I don't know. My conclusion is that it's either a hoax or a fluke but definitely it's not gonna be something to, to figure out overnight just a little bit of movement So because this wheel is spinning so freely, it actually just takes a tiny, tiny, tiny little amount of energy. I'm barely moving this magnet. I'm just standing here and just my breathing and holding this magnet will make this wheel spin indefinitely. So maybe I should Keep the setup and try and make a very efficient motor generator with this. A couple of coils and and carry on with the experiment that way. See tiny little tiny little amount of movement here. Makes this whole thing spin. And it's got momentum. I can't stop it straight away. So if there's a way of harnessing that energy, I know there's there's uh, generators, uh, Bendini and Robert, I um, can't remember his surname now. I'll put links in the description if you want to go look at that. That's got a tiny coil and it just gives a little bit of a pulse to keep it moving. And then it's got other coils generating electricity and it makes the field collapse for a moment by switching it on and off and that collapse of the energy field releases an extra little bit of amount of energy that charges the battery again and that way you've got a system that keeps on charging itself and keeps on turning and there's a little bit of extra energy that you can utilize so <clears throat> as far as this goes I'm gonna be honest with you I don't wanna uh, I don't wanna tell you that I've got something amazing here I just wanted to see for myself but this made me realize that if you have a flywheel with magnets around and it's and it's got low friction bearings and it's balanced it is a energy storage device very efficient because I just push it a little bit and it and it keeps on turning for a long time, but eventually it stops. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this adventure. Um, please subscribe and like my videos. I'll see you next week. Cheers.
Thank you.